Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog, Becoming an Ultra Runner. I think this is episode five. And in this episode, I'm gonna talk a lot about strength training and the workouts that I do week to week. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Becoming an Ultra Runner, episode five, season two. Um, today I said it was gonna be a video all about strength training and that's not entirely true because before we go on to the strength training, I want to quickly chat about a video I've just released. Hopefully you've seen it. It's the South Wales 50 race movie from when I did a South Wales 50 over a year ago now. Watching that video from last year has made me realize how much I love trail running and how much I love ultra running. And it's given me that extra little boost, not that I really needed it, but just gives me more motivation to continue with this rehab that I've been doing for the last five or six months. But I've definitely got unfinished business with that race. I wanna finish it strong. So that's why I'm doing all this strength work now, all this physio and rehab. You know, if I've got weaknesses, these races will expose them. So. Just before we head outside and do some exercises, um, I just wanted to say that I am not a physiotherapist, I'm not a strength and conditioning coach, and I'm not a personal trainer or anything like that. I'm just a runner and someone who enjoys doing strength training, but I'm not qualified to be giving out advice on what particular exercise is good for you. These are exercises that my physio have given me, and we've built a program around my specific problem. I'm planning to show you the exercises that are my favorites, that I really enjoy doing, and these are, st these are exercises that I will probably continue to do even after the injury is gone because I want to maintain that strength. All right, before I do any sort of heavy lifting, I always start with some activation exercises, and I usually have the same three every time, so let's do those first. Right guys, so onto the activation. The first one is called the hip hike. So hip hike is my absolute favorite. Um, for this one, I go body weight and I tend to go as many reps as I can until failure. Obviously you could tweak that slightly and you could add ankle weights or a resistance band and lower the reps. You basically stand on a step like that one and you lower the hanging leg by dropping the hip and then you tense the muscles in your hip and your glutes and you bring that leg back up into a horizontal position. Let me show you. All right, so the next exercise is core, and for that I'm doing a two-handed resistance band press. Um, I will show you that. It's with the resistance band tied around the leg of the squat rack. Right, so grab the resistance band, two hands, step out until you can feel a decent amount of resistance, pulling you back towards the bar, and press. All right, guys, so I've just noticed a little toad on the floor. Let me, uh, let me get the other camera. Check this out. Right, so I'm gonna find somewhere safe to put this little guy. Now that the frog has been taken care of, onto the third activation exercise of my routine. These are seated wall squats. So find yourself a wall, put your back against it and squat down. Right guys, so the next exercise is with the barbell and I'm doing eccentric barbell squats. Uh, by eccentric, I mean a slow controlled movement on the negative and then I hold it for a second or two and then come back up. So yeah, my battery holds out. I'll show you the squats. And then after that, we are gonna have some single leg squats. We're gonna have some calf raises and some seated calf raises. So we've done squatting, now it's time to move on to some single leg squats. 
Right guys, so that is squatting and single leg squatting done. Next on the list is calf raises. I do two variations of this. The first one is a standing calf raise with the barbell across my back. Right, and now the calf raises is done. It's the final calf exercise, which is seated calf raises. So these act slightly differently to the standing ones in that they target the soleus, which is a different part of your calf compared to the standing one. The trickiest bit about this one is actually stacking the weights up on your legs. Ideally, you'd have like a training partner or something who could put them on your legs for you. But failing that, you're just gonna have to copy me and do your best. Two more exercises I need to show you. One is a deadlift and the second is a hip thruster. The deadlift and the hip thrusters I do on a separate day completely because that is my hamstring and glutes day. Um, the deadlift is a pretty difficult exercise. It's very similar to the squat in that it takes a lot out of you. Um, so I put them on separate days and then I'll usually do hip thrusters with this box and the barbell across my hips to basically complement that deadlifting day. That's pretty much what I do in a week. Just to summarize quickly, three activation exercises, and then I have a quads and calf day and a hamstring and glute day. The quad and calves are squats, single leg squats, uh, standing calf raises, seated calf raises, and then on the hamstring and glutes day, I will deadlift and I will do hip thrusters. The one thing I forgot to talk about was plyometrics. This is something we only added to the routine fairly recently, probably six to eight weeks ago. Um, we started out with basic hopping stuff on an even level, um, and now we've progressed slightly. So, currently have three exercises that are part of the routine that I'm really enjoying, and it gives a bit of variety. So, the first one is skipping. Um, I can't actually skip with a rope. Um, I said this to my physio and he said, it's fine, don't worry about it. You can just simulate the skipping. So we're basically doing a two-legged hop for X amount of time. Um, I usually do about three minutes in total of skipping. Sometimes this could be three reps of 60 seconds. After that, move on to box jumps. So I love this exercise because it's using energy to jump up on the box, but it's very limited in terms of discomfort to the knee in any sort of way, because when you jump up onto the box, you're landing flat, so there isn't much impact. And the third exercise, which I'm really enjoying as well, and it's not causing any pain either. So it's multiple hops on the same leg, and then land with a bended knee and hold it for a couple of seconds. So it's quite a tricky one. Um, obviously, if you've got knee pain, you'll be found out on this one. But this is something that I've progressed to over a fair bit of time. So obviously I wouldn't recommend it at all if you've got any sort of knee pain. Remember, go see a physio. Right guys, so that is the strength training done for another week. I hope you've um, enjoyed it and seen a fair bit of variety. Hopefully you found something you can add to your routine. If you guys have got any exercises that you'd like to share with me, please comment below. I'd love to hear about some different exercises, stuff I can add to mix up my routine a little bit. It's nothing like keeping it fresh.